Uh, we have some uh, G8, uh, GE THFP switches, uh, maybe also known as QMR. Uh, what we're looking at here is a THFP 365 and a THFP 366. Uh, both space for 600 volt fuses. Um, what we have is a 600 amp style fuse here and a 400 amp style fuse here. You can see they are a little bit uh, different in size. Um, so one of the uh, issues we're having, we think here, is we potentially have a 600 amp switch with a 400 amp fuse installed. So my assumption is what they did was uh, with all these different holes inside the rails here, they would loosen this block and bring it up to match the height of the 400 amp. That way you can then install this fuse into this device. Uh, the issue that we're, we're coming up with is on a vertical setup, uh, they would eliminate these lugs and they would put an adapter bracket here. Typically on a 600 amp, it's gonna be like a U-shaped. So it's gonna basically connect in the same spots here and give you two 3 8 holes that you can connect your outgoing bus bar. Okay, on the 400 amp, what they typically do is they actually connect it on one side and it's more like an L. And there's two holes there for the bus bar to connect. Um, this is a little bit wider, a little bit thinner than the 600 amp, so the brackets are a little bit different. Um, and then obviously you can see that this lug is spaced a little bit to the left compared to where this lug is close to the frame. So my recommendation to handle this job would be, assuming they have 400 amp frame fuses like this installed into this style switch, is we'll move the 600 amp block up to accommodate this fuse. We will provide them with the standard copper brackets that you would normally get with a 600 amp, which would then now move the bolt holes up to somewhere in this area. And then I'm also thinking we'll give them another custom piece that will be longer to compensate any adjustment that we had made to compensate for the 400 amp fuses. So I think we can still uh, be successful. We'll give them, uh, assuming it's a 400 amp clip style setup, we'll give them the 600 amp. Uh, switch, we'll modify the nameplate to be a vertical setup, we'll move the bar, the uh, fuse rack up, we'll give them the standard copper pieces for a bolt connection, and then we'll each give them some custom ones to uh, compensate for any adjustments that we've made. So I think uh, that should be good. Uh, we just need to confirm that they do have a 600 amp switch by measuring the door width. Um, one was a little bit wider than the other, this being wider, the 600 amp, this being thinner. Uh, you can count the amount of uh, piano hinges, that's one way I did it from the photo, so I feel fairly confident we have a 600 amp switch. And then we just need to confirm the fuse size. So if we can do all of that, I think we can uh, give them what they need to, to replace the switch.